hello welcome back to my channel and to another month in outfits today is the first of february which is coincidentally also my birthday so i really wanted to share what i'm wearing today because i especially love this outfit so the same as what I did for January, I'm just going to be sharing some of my favorite outfits of the month, um, just picking up the camera on days when I feel like I really like what I'm wearing. So um, I will talk you through my jewelry today just because I've already got the camera set up and I am quite enjoying it, um, just like my dress. So I have on my timeless pearly earrings, these are asymmetrical, so pearls on one side, ceramic charm and the diamante ball on the other side. Um, you can easily do an asymmetric look like this with any earrings that you have doesn't have to be a set that you've purchased then the necklace that i am wearing is one i've had for a couple of years now it is from nisa jewelry and it's a little petal which for me is quite significant my mum used to call me petal um so it's just one of those things that is very special and i also have the matching bracelet as well then on my fingers let's just turn my rings around i have quite a lot of glitz. I'm really into mixing metals right now, so mixing gold and silver, I think it looks uh, really interesting and new and modern for me, and that's definitely something I'm introducing into a lot of my outfits, you may have noticed over the past few months. And then of course, I am also wearing this lovely little chain bracelet, which is from Monica Vinader. I um, can't remember I said if I said where the rings are from. They're from Linya and from Monica Vinader. I'll link them all down below. <laughs> I'm just going to stand back here so you can get a look at my dress in all of its glory. It is from Dream by Sister Jane and I purchased this as an alternative or as an affordable alternative to the Cecily Vance and Beth dress which had been on my wish list for quite a while. Personally, I actually think I prefer this one. I really love the sort of tartan style check. Uh, it was perfect for Christmas. Uh, it felt festive without being overly so. Um, and it's definitely one that I see myself taking through to winter by layering it with tights and also just a long sleeved top underneath. Um, and it has pockets, which are brilliant. Um, it's a sort of taffeta style fabric. So it is a synthetic, you can hear it makes noise. I personally don't mind that, <laughs> um, but yeah, it's just been such a fun dress to have in my wardrobe. I'll come up closer so you can get a better peek at the actual fabric. Um, but yeah, it's just a um, singlet style with adjustable straps, which is fantastic, um, especially if you are petite or taller. Um, and then it has a little tie at the back and then this super duper full skirt, which is maxi length on me it comes just below my ankle i don't know if this dress is still going to be available but i will try and find something similar and link it down below and then the shoes that i'm wearing today are my by far tanya mules i've said this before but i reckon these aren't the most comfortable shoes i always uh, find myself i always find they pinch my feet ever so slightly because they are a patent um, i do wish i had purchased them in sort of the leather or the suede uh, as opposed to the patent just because i think they would have been better for me but they're a beautiful shoe and i think they really anchor this outfit nicely haven't picked a bag yet not really sure maybe my pollen ons bag but we'll see anyway that is my outfit today uh, i'll see you a little bit later in the month Hello, hello, checking in with another outfit today. I really like the color palette of this look. Let me zoom back. So, details are, um, tank is just a simple black tank from Uniqlo U. However, I love the fact that it has this sort of like ribbed texture to it. The skirt, you may recall, I purchased last spring and this one is from Max Mara. I really like it's got these little ties on the side. You can tie them in the front, at the back, um, leave them loose like I have. The shoes are from June and they are a fabulous dupe for the Hermes Oran slides and tremendously comfortable. Like I cannot rate these enough. And then my bag today is my little Linya Lana bag. So that is me in full today. Hello, I wanted to share today's outfit. I'm gonna say I don't think this is the most stylish outfit I've ever worn, but it does to me sort of represent one of the ways that I'm playing a little bit more with color and print in my 
uh, wardrobe. So um, really for me this is all about the colour and for that reason I wanted to document it. So uh, I have on this silk leopard print tank. Um, I know leopard isn't probably something you would traditionally think that I would wear but I really really like the dark leopard on this and um, the fact that it feels a little bit more subtle. Um, and yeah, it does have that really beautiful washed silk texture. Then I've tucked that into a pair of khaki or army green uh, linen trousers. So here I'm playing with some really beautiful uh, summer textures. We've got the silk from the top and then the uh, lovely linen trousers um, and giving myself a little bit of definition at the waist due to the um, elasticated waist. And then uh, these trousers are cropped at the ankle and I'm wearing my little black slides, which uh, it's very, very obvious to me that these are going to be one of my most worn uh, items of the summer for sure. And then because I've gone for such an earthy color palette, I've opted for my Acne Studios Masubi bag today. So yeah, that is today's outfit. <laughs> a really nice and comfortable one actually. Hello, hello. I am feeling quite dressed up today. Uh, I've kind of gone for an interesting, or at least to me, uh, silhouette with the top and the skirt situation because they're both almost a wrap style. So kind of thought I would share this um, as a little way to create a fun kind of a dress if you've got items in similar colors in your wardrobe. So the top that I'm wearing today is from Helmet Land and I purchased this pre-loved. Um, I am pretty sure there will be loads of them about as I had a lot of options to choose from when I purchased mine. Uh, it does have this very cool little metal claw detail which fastens the top and the center. It's really long. It comes down to about here when it's not tucked in. The skirt that I'm wearing is one that I bought <laughs> while I was still pregnant. So I've had it for a couple of years now. It's Isabel Morant Etoile and I don't wear it as much as when I first purchased it but I still absolutely adore it and the shape. It's a really dark uh, navy black midnight I would say and it has this beautiful draped effect which I think is very flattering on the legs and the canvas belt uh, washes so well too. Um, Isabel Morant does the best skirts in my opinion. The bag that I'm wearing is my Quince crossbody camera bag which I've worn to add in a little bit of texture because it does have the mock croc leather and then the shoes see what I mean it feels a little bit dressed up maybe if I wore a, um, a dad sandal or a slide it would feel a little bit more casual but I wanted to be a little bit more feminine and uh, girly today <laughs> these shoes are my about Ariane ballerina pumps which you probably know by now I absolutely adore so that is a look at the outfit in full today. Hello, I love today's outfit, so I have to share it. It's actually not the first time that I have worn this little combination together. I just think it is really sweet, um, the combination of the peplum with the little shorts. So um, the top that I'm wearing, it's a pre-loved purchase, it's Tippy. Um, I've been wanting one of these tops for years and this cotton one with all of the texture to it, to me it just, my heart sung when I saw it. I just thought it was so fun and playful. So had to go for it. And yeah, it's been an absolute winner. Plus being cotton, it is easy to care for, which is always a bonus. These shorts are from Ghani and I've had these for quite a while now. They also have a belt at the waist, but um, because I have the peplum top, I'm actually not wearing the belt with them. It's a little bit easier because it has a side zipper. So it makes going to the bathroom a little bit tricky when you've got the belt on. <laughs> Practicality here, um, for sure. The bag that I'm wearing today is my little lower vey. This is the small straw bag. Um, and I decided to wear this bag in particular because the entire outfit is black otherwise, and I thought it would be nice to brighten it up a little bit and feel a little bit more fresh. And I am wearing a coral lip, but uh, sometimes accessories tend to um, have a little bit more of an impact. The sandals that I'm wearing are my Saint Agni Geo sandals. Um, I think, you know, these, the Birkenstock Arizona slides, uh, that sort of thing, would have a very, very similar uh, look if I was to wear those. So. Yeah, that is my outfit today. Hello, I'm a little bit dressed up today because I'm going out for lunch with some girlfriends um, and just using the excuse, I think we all are. And I really like this outfit. It's a little bit more feminine than I would normally go for. And so I thought I would share it for something a bit different. So let me pan back so you can see the outfit in full. 
So I'm wearing this really sweet little camisole from Everlane. This is honestly one of my favorite things that I own from the brand. It is a, a fantastic layering piece, but really great on its own too. I actually tuck the fabric under so I can get a slightly cropped effect. I don't typically show too much skin, but I feel like it's a really nice sort of subtle way to do it when you've just got a teeny little sliver. The skirt is a pre-Christmas purchase from Air, the label, which is an Australian brand via The Iconic. Um, I really love the teared effect on this. I think it is really pretty feminine and it makes me feel good every single time that I wear it as well. On my feet, I am wearing these Charles and Keith little shoes. You might remember I've shared them before. They're kind of like a uh, affordable dupe for the row, but different with the blue, uh, cone shaped heel with the gold accent and because I don't take it out too often I'm going to wear my Chanel vintage classic flat today because again I sort of feel like it's a good excuse to wear it so that is a look at my outfit today you guys know how much I love neutral so I absolutely had to share my outfit today in this video so um, I'll come up close so you can get a bit of sense but the shirt that I'm wearing is from Moya. Uh, I've had this for a while. It's via W Concept and was gifted to me. Um, I really love the oversized nature of the shirt. Um, and I have just worn it ever so slightly off the shoulder because I love what that adds to the outfit. And then I have kind of um, pushed the sleeves up ever so slightly. The shorts were a sale purchase from Madewell. And they're a cotton linen blend. Um, they do have this almost twill-like effect to the fabric. Pockets, rope paper bag waist which I love um, I just think it's a really fun sort of a style to play around with when it comes to shorts and I really really like this more voluminous uh, silhouette on my upper half um, to balance things out I've gone for a much sort of streamlined elegant refined sandal my YSL slides in the latte patent color and then my bag of choice today is my little pole len so that is today's outfit in full. I'll see you with my next look of the month. <laughs> Today, just having one of those days where I'm wearing a dress that I think is really cute. So I thought I would document it. Um, this one, I don't know if it's still available because I got it quite a while ago. Um, it's from Dish, but I really, really loved the print when I saw it. Um, it felt very kind of um, neutral and not too loud but was still something that was going to add uh, a little bit of something special to my wardrobe, I felt. So I'll come up a bit closer because I don't know how in focus it will be, but it's this beautiful sort of linen cotton. Um, it's fully lined and it has this almost florally palm print over the whole thing. A lined skirt, so incredibly flattering. Let me show you the back. You are. That's a better look at the back, I think. I'm not doing anything particularly special today, but I thought I would dress up because why not? And yeah, I just wanted an excuse to wear this dress. <laughs> then the shoes that I've paired it with are my little Saint Laurent slides, which you know I wear loads in both colors. So that is the outfit in full again. Okay, I'm pretty sure that I got at least seven outfits this month. I hope that you enjoyed this video and I would love to know if you had a favorite outfit. Let me know in the comment section below. This is always one of my favorite parts of putting these videos up. Um, and if you're new here and you want to see more videos from me, I would love to have you back. So don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Anyway, that is it from me today. I'm going to wrap things up here. Everything that I wore will be linked down in the description box um, where, where I can find it. Otherwise, I'll pop some alternatives. Um, but yeah, thanks for watching and see you next time with a brand new video. See you soon. Bye.